fragile, sensitive artist. But you know, if we all get shot by them, it's pretty easy. Well, artists have to be on the front lines against fascism. I mean, fascism is against art. We're Portlanders. It's like, this is our city. You know, this is a city that is kind to artists and, and, and uh, has a strong community. So, you know, an attack on us is an attack on our whole town and our whole culture. So we got to come out. Plus, it helps people to see artists because it reminds them that we're on the side that has art. We're on the side that has music, dancing, free food, friendships, community-based organizing. And they're just like sent by this abject liar. You know what I mean? Like, I'm mean, talking about the feds. If they're gone, you know, whatever. But that's who they were sent by for a campaign stunt to bust our city's heads. That's just that's just ridiculous. So. I've been down here painting, I'm doing plein air painting, oil painting for the last two, about two weeks. Um, this is kind of my way to peacefully protest. I mean, this is a very passive, sensitive thing that I'm doing. I'm no threat. Um, and uh, I just wanted to get a, a wall of artists, a wall of painters to document this. Um, So I got gas for the first time on Friday. It was July, July 25th. What were you painting at the time? I was underneath that tree over there, right on the corner, in um, Third Street, and I was just painting the crowd. It was the biggest crowd that we've had down here for a while. It was three, four thousand people. Um, a lot of moms, a lot of dads. So I thought, you know, they're not going to unleash gas on this many people. And then at about 11:05 p.m. You know, there's like 20-some yahoos shaking the fence, doing the thing, and then they unload four, five, six rounds of gas. Um, that was my first time being tear gas at a protest. It was my first time being tear gas while painting. Um, so thank you, government. <laughs>